hey guys it stops here so in this tutorial i want to look at ui Kemi new release or update or whatever you want to call it it's figma to gutenberg uh, converter so if you have followed me for a while you know that ui Kemi has been on the radar for me i've been following them up i've been watching uh, what they are able to do converting figma projects to wordpress and i have done tutorials in time past about figma to elemental converter figma to bricks converter i even did a recent tutorial where they launched their ui chemi 2.0 i looked into the new features they have quite fantastic features but uh these have not been launched at the time figma to gutenberg converter so i want to experiment with that right now in this tutorial together i also want to check it out to see exactly what we can do uh, from Figma to Gutenberg. Okay, so let's dive straight into Figma and see exactly how we can use this tool. So coming to Figma here, I have a Figma project here. So now we are going to come to plugins as usual. Let's look for UI Kemi. This is UI Kemi here. Like I would say, if you come here and you come to plugins, if you are using this for the very first time, but I've not used UI Kemi before. You won't you you might not see UI Kemi here. You can just come to manage plugins and then you can search for UI Kemi here. Okay. So you can see that I have three plugins here. This is for Bricks Builder, this is for Elementor Converter, and this is the new one now for Gutenberg, which is the one I just launched. So I'm gonna select the one for Gutenberg in case you are concerned about Gutenberg. But if you want to experiment also with the Elementor and Bricks Builder, you can do that as well. I have tutorials i've covered that on this channel so that's it for getting ui Kemi. because i'm using this for the very first time i would need to put my uh, license key so the good thing about it is that i don't need to go buy another key the same key that i got initially for the gutenberg had worked for at uh, the bricks builder and most likely should work for uh, the gutenberg as well so if you come here you can check out your pricing plan so if you come here, you would see that you can use literally for free. So you can experiment and you can see that it supports uh, the three builder here. But you can just do 10 exports per month. You can experiment with that. But you get value for your money if you are investing in a pro or an all access plan. And I have the all access plan and it's quite very fantastic. You can see everything I can do with it. Let's sign in here. So I have my key here, so I'll copy this and then I'll come back to Figma here. I'll paste my serial key here and then I would activate this. Okay, so right now we can start converting. So it says no page selected. Uh, so let me, let's select uh, the pages that we want to bring in here. Uh, so I'll select the home page. Uh, so I have that here right now. I still see an icon here that says select pages. So let's do that okay so you can see automatically it is pulling in all the pages i have there and i think that's good uh, so let me pull the home page uh the about page is the second one the services page and then the contact page so i have both the web view and the mobile view so i'm not selecting any of the uh, mobile view here so the web view is fine so let's confirm this okay so i have optimization here so let's click this let's see what we can do with optimization okay so it is running auto update by itself lock multi layer media has been done lock parent container of mask element has been done and now it's saying optimize quantity of images and svg so i have eight assets here so if i click on this i should be able to see this but let's just mark this as done i don't want to go and uh, optimize those images so coming down here detach instance has been done so remove unnecessary groups uh, so we have a lot of fix here that we can do uh, so we can you can check all of this container one after the other by clicking it but again i think i will just come up here and just fix all so you can see that has been fixed So enable clip content on overlaying frames. Uh, so let's just fix all. Let's see. Manage auto layout of complex frames. Let's fix auto as well. 
okay so now we have all of this done so let's save and go back now let's try to convert this your design has been successfully converted so now we need to go to the next step which is for us to either copy this code or do a live import but doing a live import kind of make more sense to me so let's go that route so now here i need to select the site but i've not added the site here so let's add a site i think we should come back here this is the you know this is the website i tried to copy so this is the uh, website i want to use right now so let's log into the back end of this website so at the back end right now we need to come to plugins and let's come to add new and then let's search for a plugin called ui kemi so we're going to install this good stuff so we have our plugin activated here so now let's come to ui kemi here let's come to settings okay so we have uh this here uh forgive me my internet connection is very very slow so let's just continue this i'm not sure i can wait so let's choose gutenberg here let's go to the next so the next step is to register with uh, ui chemi but that's fine we already have a key so let's just go to next so the next thing that the next thing is for you to install ui chemi figma plugin we already have that right so so let's just go to the next one I think basic requirement and i think this is the most important part that's the reason why i went through that process is for us to install this plugin i was so sure this was going to be here because i know that they have a gutenberg blog plugin so i know this would work hand in hand so we need to install and activate this but this has been installed and activated then let's go to next i just finish this up so here we just need to copy our site url and the security token i should copy the token first and paste my token here and then let's come back here to pick our site url so now let's connect verified and connected okay so now we have our pages here what we can do is for us to I click this here and select a method uh this is new so we want to export this as gutenberg pattern or as a nexta template this is not installed i don't have nexta installed there i just want to have this as a page and then let's apply this to below fields and that's good so it means i don't have to go over all of that one after the other so this is done but we can just confirm to see that everything is done so you can see this is applied exported to a page so now since this is done let's hit the next button and let's import all so now this is importing now to our wordpress website fantastic so we have this upload done and you can see four has been imported we can just open that from here that's fine but let's come just come to wordpress dashboard now we can come to our pages here let's come to all pages and then we can see that we have our pages now here this is the service web home web contact web about web so now let's just quick edit this and let's change this from drafts to publish uh, let's publish this page and let's update this so this is ready so we can view this page in a new tab okay so you can see uh some kind of alignment issues here and there apparently we are using the 2024 wordpress uh default team which is not most times are not compatible with a lot of things so as a matter of fact i would never recommend you use this theme that might be the reason why we are having these uh issues here uh, basically uh we can see that the menu here is not aligning ideally we shouldn't even be exporting a page with menu the correction we should have made inside of figma here we should have taken out the menu here and just bring in the page it's a different thing entirely if you know how wordpress work you don't bring in edda and footer into the page edda has its own settings and footer has its own settings uh, so right now what we can do before we conclude that this is not uh working well is for us to change the default theme uh so let's come back to themes uh, let's use the own next theme so let's come to add new so if any theme would work that should work let's come to next this is the uh, theme here let's install this theme okay so we have that so it's telling us to install some other things these are for elemental but let's leave this as is 
let's check out the page again let's see what we have let's open this new tab all right more like it okay all right so we still have some alignment issues here i believe these are the things that we can correct inside of the page uh, so let's edit the page again let's see if Coming here, you can see that instead of this are uh, displaying here as menu, is displaying here as a block, which doesn't really make sense. Basically, we might just need to delete those blocks away from the page here. Uh, it shouldn't be displaying as a block entirely. So that's the solution to uh, this here. But you you get the idea, really. Uh, this need to just delete this entirely. But the beauty about it is that every of the things here are editable. The blocks here are editable. There are things you can just easily play around. Uh, keep deleting the things you don't want. And then you can start editing the things that you want. Like explore page here, you can realign this uh, text here. And then you can scroll down to the pages and do some settings here. Uh, change some things here. Uh, so that's it for lovers of Gutenberg. I think these are two pretty much work. I would still make more tutorials eventually on this tool doing it the right way. So you can see I've been able to take away the menu here. So you can see that same way I can change the text, readjust our things here to work better. Right? So that's it. Uh, this is pretty much a very, very good tool. I'm experimenting it myself. So we can do the same thing for the pages too as well. For the about page too as well, we can just easily quick edit these two and just make this uh, published update this so this should also have the same issues with the menu too as well so let's open this up in a new tab so we can see what the about page looks like pretty much a, a good job here but ideally again i would just love to take out this container here so we can play around with all of the pages uh, check them out edit them and just make those little 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 adjustments here and there and i believe you should be fine it's my first time using this tool so so far i think it has not been bad i would keep working on this tool keep checking it out to see uh, if there are things i can do to get better results and once i have uh, those uh, results i would definitely update them with another video so to ensure to say subscribe if you want to see this kind of tutorials from me that's for my time i'll see you again in another tutorial and until then stay cool